In 2010, the Wyoming Game and Fish Department constructed a fish bypass structure on Kendrick Dam in northeast Wyoming, reconnecting a major segment of the 112-mile Clear Creek so fish could travel upstream and back more easily. It changed the fishery significantly. Fish were able to travel longer distances, and native fish species returned to areas they hadn't been in years. A study this summer that wraps up next year will be giving biologists important data on fish behavior, movement patterns, and habitat uses in Clear Creek above and below Kendrick Dam, and will assess the need for further stream connectivity throughout the Powder River Basin. Keeping rivers and streams connected allows fish to swim freely. It sustains overall health and genetic diversity of fish, and it benefits anglers. Fisheries are more resilient and productive. Clear Creek is a main tributary of the Powder River, the longest unrestricted prairie river in North America. It flows 430 miles from its headwaters in Wyoming to the Yellowstone River in eastern Montana, and it boasts up to 25 fish species, eight of which are considered species of greatest conservation need in Wyoming. Four of those species, sauger, shovelnose sturgeon, gold eye, and channel catfish, are known to travel great distances. So game and fish biologists are interested in where, when, and why they travel. So radio telemetry tags are being planted in 35 sauger, 10 shovelnose sturgeon, and 35 gold eye from Clear Creek and the Powder River. Biologists also expect to find fish tagged in Montana by biologists in that state. Floy tags with serial numbers on them were put in fish not radio tagged. That gives Game and Fish intel on movements of fish that are recaptured or that are caught by anglers, such as a Clear Creek Channel catfish, an angler caught in 2007 from the Yellowstone River, 415 miles away. The radio tagged fish will be tracked continuously for two years by ground-based receiver tracking stations positioned in the survey area and also by foot, truck, and from the air. Biologists will learn where the fish spawn, how far they migrate, and how bypass structures affect seasonal movements of fish swimming into Clear Creek from the Powder River. Cooperation with biologists in Montana extends the size of the study area into that state. This project will evaluate changes in the fish community and detail seasonal movements of migratory fish in Lower Clear Creek, the Powder River, and even a portion of the Yellowstone River in Montana. The data may even help support further fish passage improvements around the state and in the region. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.